Good evening, everybody. We at Wiki Haryana Arts Council would like to wish everybody a very happy 2024. This being our first session for 2024, we have a very special guest with us. As I had promised, we are going to talk about Haryana. So today I declare and we are going to commence the Haryana series. We have with us Colonel Yogendraji, who has profound knowledge of history with, with him and who's going to unfold many stories and many facts of the region. I had promised you that I would come and come back. First of all, I would like to wish you all to be happy Lodi, happy Makar Sankranti, happy Bihu, happy Pongal, happy Uttriyan, Makara, Vilakku, कितने सारे हमारे सारे फेस्टिवल्स हैं एक जैसे हैं सच पूछे तो बस नाम अलग हैं एंड ऑफ कोर्स वी सेलिब्रेट इट विद ग्रेट जॉय एंड एंथुसियाज्म ऑल ओवर द कंट्री हरियाणा जो है आप सबको पता है कि एक एग्रीकल्चरल स्टेट है और हां यहां पे मकर संक्रांति मनाते हैं आज हम कर्नल योगेंद्र जी से जानना चाहेंगे कि हम ये कैसे मनाते हैं क्योंकि हर रीजन का अपना तरीका होता है और वही मजा है हर चीज को हमें एंजॉय करना आना चाहिए तो आज हम इनकी कहानियां सुनना चाहेंगे कि आप बताएं आप हमें कर्नल जी पहले तो आपका बहुत-बहुत वार्म वेलकम है और अब मैं जानना चाहूंगी कि आप हमारे दर्शकों को बताएं कि भाई ये मकर संक्रांति कैसे मनाई जाती है हरियाणा थैंक यू शेफाली एंड यस इट्स अ प्लेजर टू बी uh, getting together with you after a long time. Uh, Sakrat. Uh, in Haryana, it is called Sakrat. Uh, as in rest of the India, uh, I think Lodi is an entirely different festival. But yes, in the rest of the uh, uh, country, whether it's Pongal or it's uh, 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 Tils Krant of uh, Bihar, Uttarayan of Gujarat, they are similar in nature. Uh, rooted in the our agricultural past. Insofar as Haryana is concerned, uh, uh, the celebration of uh, Sakrant is rooted in the Vedic traditions. If you look back at Veda, you find uh, the gods like Surya, Agni. So that plays a major part in the celebrations. Uh, and it comes on the day the sun transits from Dakshna and to Uttarai. That means now it's uh, started its journey towards the peak of summer. So that is the day on which Sakrat will fall. So uh, this is one festival uh, which always falls as per the movement of the sun. Other festival dates are decided by the movement of our moon, Chandrama. This is a major difference. That's why you find uh, Sakrat's dates do not change much. They remain 14 February, uh, 14 January, 15 January. Sure. This is one part. Second part is uh, why? why on this day? This is the day when uh, the society emerges from uh, winter hibernation. We had a winter, severe winter, which had more or less uh, restricted the movement to within the house or within the close vicinity of the house. And uh, now is the time when the sun has started its uh, journey of the summer. So, the society comes out and they celebrate this day. They celebrate this day in so far as Haryana is concerned, the celebrations are led by the young woman of the family. How interesting. Yes. So this is the day the she is the lead actor. Achha. Yes. Uh, in uh, celebration of Sarkar. Not the elder uh, lady of the house, now, who may be the head of the uh, family, not she, but the younger ones who are actually working. I and mean, the elder one is now more in a supervisory or guidance role. So it is uh, the younger ones, uh, the uh, her daughters-in-law who take the lead this day. 
so they start to, basically the day starts with a bath taken by everybody in uh, local we locally call it chandal bag bal ko bhigona acha how interesting so uh, basically you are now uh, cleaning up uh, after the winter maybe uh, everybody was not taking a bath every day <laughs> uh, maybe winter had also made you irritable and a little short uh, circuited so now you are calming yourself down you start the day by calming yourself down uh, take a bath put on uh, new clothes house undergoes a deep uh, uh, cleaning like what in europe they call as spring cleaning so does the similar thing which happens the home undergoes a deep clean uh, so mind you this is a difference like i was telling you we are starting in the early morning we are not starting in the night it's no celebration at night it's day day time starting with early morning and uh, we do a deep sea cleaning of the house so here the house uh, where the children and the females live was usually cleaned up by the women while the place where the animals fodder and the uh, stocks were kept was uh, cleaned up by the male but essentially the whole thing was deep clean uh, whatever had accumulated is taken out to the in front of the entrance main entrance and burned so uh, this is the second thing which happens third thing which happens is uh, that uh, the sweets are prepared halwa especially and laddus for the children now these laddus are special kind of laddu is it like wo til wale laddu hote hain not only that the speciality this may be laddu of depending on what you have at home on that day so everybody may not be making til wale but laddu but the uh, speciality of the laddu is that a coin is hidden in it when it is wow nice ye to bada kamal ka laddu hai ye to mujhe bhi khana hai matlab raat mein ke liye ye to bachcho ke liye hota hai ha so it's kind of doubling the child's happiness of course main bachcha hoti main to main to abhi kood rahi hu to aap socho bachcha hoti to kya hota <laughs> so that's a that's a wonderful tradition of haryana on sakrant that the kids get a laddu plus a coin inside so they get the double benefit how nice and in so far as the elders are concerned the both the male the female you can say mother in law and father in law so they are now uh, sort of uh, manaud uh, that they are in a mock annoyance oh. and uh, they are pleased <laughs> the concept this is a kind of a you know a nice touch to a, a tradition of uh, you know getting over the past and getting on a new uh, giving it a new start how nice you been you've been cloistered in a small place for a, a particular duration probably you had altercations kind of thing you had arguments and so on so this uh, the younger women of the house take lead and they take a dress set of dress for their elders oh. as also halwa so halwa which was made this usually for the hot halwa for the father in law mother in law and uh, they go and uh, apologize for all if they have done anything mostly imaginary uh, but they it's a kind of a fresh start and they offer uh, those gifts and the uh, sweet uh, to the elders who then take and that so there there is a little uh, ritual uh, connected with it that the while male uh, say father in law may go and sit a little away from the house okay. uh, and await his turn the mother in law normally is, goes up to the roof to the terrace uh, daughter in law whether it's one daughter in law in that house or more than one they go and bring her down 
and usually it is done uh, for the males it is done by the a number of uh, women from neighborhood get together and uh, usually these elder ones are sitting together somewhere so they all go singing one by one give gifts to each one gives to her so it's a occasion uh, it becomes kind of a gala occasion with kids uh, following jumping around they women singing and taking gifts seems to seems like them. a gala occasion seems like yeah, a it gala is. occasion ye to bada maza hai matlab rutho manao matlab act put all together i think it's more like an act एंड इसमें मजा भी हो रहा है रूट ना मनाना भी हो रहा है गिफ्ट्स भी हो रहे हैं और अगर मान लिया कि कोई जेन्यूनली आपसे थोड़ा भी नाराज होगा तो शायद आपको माफ भी कर देगा कहेगा चलो वो कहते हैं मिट्टी पाओ आई डोंट नो कि भाई पुरानी बातों को भूल जाओ याद मत करो मिट्टी डालो दैट्सेंशियलियन down in now the nature has come to revive you the sun has come out so you worship the sun you uh, put agni right in front of your door and you clean okay. up the whole place including the street in front of your house you welcome your neighbors when they meet and greet each other they exchange uh, sweets or the ladoos and so on but no coin in that <laughs> <laughs> I I really found this so interesting. I must say, मतलब इसमें tradition भी आ गया थोड़ा सा game भी आ गया and uh, you know little rituals that keep us together. हलवा अब हलवा हो या लड्डू हो हर घर में कहीं ना कहीं बनते हैं whether it's हरियाणा या केरला या पंजाब मतलब कैसे हमारे को ये छोटे छोटे traditions जोड़ते हैं है ना कर्नल जी yes, absolutely. You are so right. So I think ये, ये कहते हैं ना ये फेस्टिवल आने बड़े इम्पोर्टेंट होते हैं बिकॉज मुझे तो लगता है कि ये हमें जोड़ने की कोशिश में लगे हैं हर पल बिकॉज हमेशा कोई भी ट्रेडिशन कोई भी फेस्टिवल अपनों के बिना तो हो ही नहीं सकता और खाने पीने के बिना तो कभी भी नहीं वी एज इंडियंस टू आर नोन फॉर आर फूड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड सो ये इन्होंने बिल्कुल सही कहा लड्डू खाओ मस्त हो जाओ एंड हलवा खाओ गर्मा गर्म This is a great season to have halwa, and of course, thandi ka mausam hai. So, koi til ke laddu bana raha hai, koi til patti khaa raha hai, koi gur patti khaa raha hai. So, in sab cheezon ka apna hi maza hai. But I really enjoyed listening to this part of uh, the tradition. Ye root na manana. Thank you so much, and uh, we will get back again speaking about something more about Haryana. Thank you so much, Colonel Yogendra ji. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. Thanks for watching us. Keep watching us. We will be updating you on different stories, traditions of our Haryana. Ye dil mangey more.